Hey guys, welcome back. I am back with a new planner. This has been so requested all summer with all the craziness going on and us not knowing if we're gonna send our kids back to school or if we're gonna have to online school, homeschool, remote school. I mean, so many different options and I think we're still all kind of just trying to figure out what the fall is gonna look like. Um, so hopefully this planner will help you feel a little bit more prepared for whatever is to come. Um, I have the brand new teacher planner and the brand new homeschool planner. And they're actually gonna be two separate planners because they are so big in and of themselves that to smush them together would have just been, it would have broke, it would have broken your iPad. So um, there are two separate planners, but in this video, we're gonna go through all of them together. Um, and I'll show you just the differences between the two if you're kind of trying to figure out which one would work best for you. Um, so this is just a little sneak peek of um, one of the layouts, but I'm gonna flip the camera around and we're gonna go through this together and I hope you guys love it. Okay guys, so here is the cover page for both of the planners. They're both gonna have this and this page looks the exact same on both planners. And this has just like your introduction. It just helps you kind of get oriented with your planner. It kind of tells you what the first couple pages are, couple meaning 333 <laughs> pages, um, where all these tabs link to. It gives you a legend so you know what the diamond is gonna link to and what the circle is gonna link to. Um, you also, I'm also giving you the hex codes here because Good, GoodNotes allows you to create palettes, color palettes for your pen tools. So these are the exact same colors that I use to design the planner. So I thought that would be fun to give you guys. And, um, and then some links to other YouTube videos that might be helpful and then links to get in contact with me. And then now let's get into the planner. So we have um, a fully dated monthly planner and all of these dates will link to the daily page for that date. And then over here we have diamonds and circles. Diamonds link to your personal weekly planner page. Circles link to your lesson planning page. So, and I'll show you what those what those lesson plan pages look like. Um, but this is the monthly page, and if you swipe over, it'll take you straight to the first weekly planning page for that month. Um, of course, you can always just click the diamond, that will take you there as well. Um, so on the weekly planning pages, they are completely dated. All of these dates are hyperlinked. So if you click on that, it'll take you to the daily page. Um, you'll know that you're on your personal planning page when you see personal planner here. Um, you'll see a little circle here and that takes you to the lesson planning page. Also on your weekly planning page you have the current month that you're in, your week is highlighted, and then you also have a to-do list and you have a the next month. All of these dates that are underlined and the month is hyperlinked. So you can tap on any of these dates and it'll take you to the daily planning page for that date. All right, and then you have three planning blocks here and then um, some extra little notepads down there. And the next page after your personal weekly page is your lesson planning page. Again, you can just tap this circle and it'll take you straight to your lesson planning page. All right, your lesson planning page has sections over here for you to write in the subjects. And then we have the dates of the week. And then we also have the dates preloaded in there and they are hyperlinked. So if you tap on that, it'll take you to your daily planning page. Um, also, you'll know that you're on the lesson planning page when you see lesson planner. You'll see a diamond there. This will take you back to your personal planner. Let's go back to this lesson planner and show you what the dates look like. So if we tap here, this is your daily planning page. Um, they are already dated. Um, you have links here on the top of the page. It'll take you to your personal planning weekly page and your weekly lesson page. We have your focus for today, your top three, a section for gratitude. Um, we have a to-do list, your schedule, uh, meals, workout, a spot to track your wellness, and a spot to track self-care. There is um, two days on one page. So you have um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and at the end of the week, you have an end of week thoughts page. 
and it sh you can write down here top wins of the week, where I can improve next week, a brain dump, three goals for next week, my top three 2020 goals, and your favorite memory from this week. So that is the end of the week, and then it goes over to Sunday of the following week. Um, I think that's it for the calendar portion, and that goes all the way through, um, it starts from July 2020 all the way through June 2021. Same thing, if you're here on the monthly page, you can just tap the date and it'll take you to the daily page. Okay, so let's head on over to your resource pages over here. So I'm gonna tap the first one. This is key dates. And this is where you can list down birthdays and anniversaries and important dates. All of these mini calendars are hyperlinked. So if you tap on any of these dates, it will take you over to the daily page. If you tap here, it'll take you to the month. And let's see what's next. Okay, now we have your attendance um, report. Oh, actually, I think I'm on the homeschool planner. Okay, so I'm on the homeschool planner. This is your attendance report. If you are in one of those states where you have to report your attendance for the year, um, starts with July, goes through June, and then it has the days of the month, and you can check off or color in, depending on the days that you do school. All right, now we have our planning templates, and you can also reach this page by going here to this tab. Um, actually, let me go back and I'm going to show you what the teacher planner looks like for this page. So attendance, key dates looks the same on the teacher planner. On attendance, it has your class attendance. So it has 30 students and then it has five weeks for the month and you can duplicate this page as many times as you want. You can um, copy this page and stick it here in between your calendar pages, however you want to do that. But that's what it looks like in the teacher planner. Okay, homeschool plan, let's go back here. <laughs> All right, so we have some homeschool schedules here, and if you tap here, this is just like your ideal homeschool day, and this one is really, really fun to mess around with. So you can write in like, you know, mom here, and then if you have one student. We also ha And that was perfect timing for my little one to come in and ask for help. <laughs> mom life. Okay, we also have, um, you know, if you have mom here and then two students, three students, and four students. And on this one, I'm gonna zoom in and show you how these little stickers work. So let's say we have, let's say something that's gonna make sense. So like from eight, um, eight to nine, this is the eight o'clock and then 8.30. And let's say you wanna do something for 30 minutes, you can just put on your edit tool, go to your lasso button, make sure images is selected, and you'll just lasso around that, tap it, click copy, and then go over to the time slot that you want. Let's say 8.30 here, and then we'll just paste that, and then you can resize it to fit that block. Um, and it helps if you zoom in too. So you can tap it, edit, and resize it some more. Let's say you wanna do something for an hour though. What I found the best thing to do is just put on your pen tool and go to white and just kind of color in this dividing line. I know it's kind of janky, but <laughs> it's the best option it's the easiest option, let's say. Easiest and quickest. So now you have an hour block. So we'll go back to the lasso tool. You're gonna zoom in here and again, just lasso around, tap it, click copy, and then go over to that space, long press, and click paste. And then you can resize it to fit that one hour block. And you can do that for this whole um, schedule sheet. I just thought that would be really fun. <laughs> All right, so that's it for homeschool. Clearly this schedule is not in the teacher planner. Um, oh, but hey, if you would like a teacher schedule, I don't know if that would be helpful for you, but if you would like that, let me know and I can put that in there. Okay, so we have several of those. Let me get off of my edit tool. And next up for the homeschool planner, we have a lesson planning. Um, and this is for, like, if you have multiple students and you're planning um, for the day or for the week, you can have your subjects up here and then your multiple students down there. And um, then we also have this lesson planning sheet. This is kind of like 
Um, if you're wanting to put an entire lesson together for one subject, um, we also have this in the teacher planner. I think that's the first one in the teacher planner, yep. All right, so we have that same lesson planning sheet. And in the teacher planner, we have IEP planning. I don't believe we have this in the home homeschool planner, nope. Yeah, so we have IEP planning for teachers. Then it goes straight into monthly theme planning, which is also in the homeschool planner. And then for teachers, we have the class reading schedule or reading levels. So you can put in the student names here and then write in their levels. We also have individual reading level trackers for each student. So you can duplicate this as many times. We have, this is the FMP reading level tracker. And then this is just kind of like a blank slate that you can customize your own needs. These two reading level trackers are in the homeschool planner. So there they are right there. Okay, let's see what's after this. All right, both planners have this book list and you can list down what books that you want to read and whether you've read them. Both planners have the passwords. So you can write your, the websites you frequently go to or the company, your username and password. And now we're over here to the contacts already. So both planners have a personal contacts sheet. Homeschoolers have a co-op contact information. So if you're part of several co-ops, um, you will have some information there. And then teachers for their contacts, you have their personal contacts, just like I showed you. And then you have a student parent information sheet. So student name, parent name, preferred contact information, and then um, volunteer information. So name, volunteer roles, preferred contact info. Right after that, we have a notes page also in the homeschool planner. Now let's go over to the stickers. So this sticker file, it may show up a little bit glitchy. It's only because these are pretty large sticker files in there, so it's gonna take a little bit to load. But these are all hand drawn. This is the sticker page for the teacher planner. And if you download, if you use GoodNotes and you download the GoodNotes version, then all of these stickers are pre-cropped. And this is a major difference from all of my other planners. But basically, you take your lasso tool, lasso around that, tap it, click copy, and then you can paste it, just like I showed you with the homeschool planner. Um, if you are not using GoodNotes and you're using something like Notability, um, this page is just gonna be a PDF page. And so you'll kind of have to go through a couple more steps. And I have a video on that, um, how to use the stickers that are embedded in your PDF. But if you download and use the GoodNotes file, which I recommend um, for GoodNotes, then you can do that little, you can skip a couple steps. All right, so this is the sticker page for the planner, the teacher planner. Let's go over to the sticker page for the homeschool. So see how it kind of just takes a little bit to come up. Um, and these are all the stickers that you found on the homeschool schedule sheet and some watercolor stickers there. All right, next up in both planners, you have your subject dividers. So this five different subjects, each one comes with a divider page. You can write in the name of whatever subject that is for you or category, and then it has a blank page after it. So that was one and then two and so on. All right, last thing are our blank pages. Like we always have, we have a completely blank page and then we have a lined page See if I can zoom in on that. And then we have the dotted grid page. So these are just templates. You can duplicate this as many times as you want and insert it. And if you don't know how to do that, I have a video already for you there. And that is almost it. There's a couple bonuses. So I have this little training notes page, just like if you go to, you know, continued learning or conferences, you wanna take notes, you can copy and, or duplicate that and put it into your planner. Um, also, just a blank, undated daily page. I don't know why you would need this, but I figured it might be cool to have. So, that is it. Those are the two planners, and this is the primary color palette, and I'm going to be putting this also in the blush palette and the pastel palette, which are popular in my shop. 
and they are ready. They are in the Etsy shop. The link to the Etsy shop is in the description box below. And yeah, if you have any questions, just let me know. If you're brand new to digital planning, there are some other videos here on my channel that might help you. Um, if you got to the end of this video and you're not quite sure if your device is set up for digital planning, um, and you just kind of want to test something out, I have a completely free planner on my website. I will put the link below as well. You can download it and test it out and see if your device can even do it. And then you'll be all set up and ready to go. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you next time.